Well, YouTube, here we are. We got the new round baler sitting on the tractor. Uh, it's kind of windy, so I'm going to park my pickup here. And this will be the first overview. We'll do on the machine. I will kind of tell you my first impressions and thoughts. This machine will go to the field this week. And we'll see... You know what I really think about it. Um, there's only one set of hydraulic hoses. It's for the pickup. Yo, what this has its own reservoir because it's an auto cycle machine, and what that means is the minute you know the chamber is full. It will tie the bale. You just you got to stop the tractor. It'll tie the bale, and it will kick the bale out itself. So it'll raise the tailgate and kick the bale by itself and close it. Um, got our gearbox down here. Everything seems to be pretty convenient. The machine is extremely tall, though. I mean, it, I, it's taller than my deer balers. So this is a lot heavier spring than in the deer baler. A lot better tensioner. Um, you know, pretty decent 80 weight chain. And it's, it's diamond chain, so it's good all, you know, it's made in the USA. Um, this is a hydraulic clutch. And I like hear, like the one thing I already know about these is you have to keep these things cleaned out. I had a the clutch on my old Heston Baylor. I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't. They wore out after a while, and you had to replace the clutch disc. But um, serviceability on this thing looks amazing. There's three grease points here, and there'll be a grease point bank back there. I never liked the double cylinder tension ever on my old machine. Uh, not. Not necessarily because it didn't work, but after a while, it seemed like the seals would go out in one of these, and you would always lose tension. So, we'll see how that is. Um, John Deere uses pretty much the same style pin. I don't like that pin at all, but what can you do? It seems like that's what everyone's going to, because they always they always break. Is what happens on the these ones. We'll see. Um, down here in the bottom I mean everything is pretty slick to get to um, I like that we got big beefy roller I'm not sure that I'm gonna like this but I've been told I'm gonna like the solid wind guard uh, you know, I, it still has, it still has these tines here that go back, that keep that crop down. It has this bar here that's supposed to keep the, from, that's like a knife. It's supposed to keep that from wrapping, I don't know. I think that's just a good way for that to plug up. Uh, this here. But I don't... This one's pretty decent. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I may be mistaken, but uh, you know, it's it's a round baler. I don't know how. We just have to try it and see. The one thing you will notice in here is there are no twine boxes. The twine boxes are supposed to be in this machine. Actually, I think they bolt to the doors. I don't remember. Maybe not. No, they bolted here. Twine boxes sit in here. And all twine boxes do are collect dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. And I don't offer twine to my customers. It's number one, it takes too much time. Time equals fuel, repairs, everything on your machine. And when they want twine, you know, it, it's a minute more per bale 
just to do it in twine. So I'm in the field longer. There's more chance it's going to get rained on. And yeah, it's just stupid. I'm not going to do it. Someone else can do it. And nobody, nobody here even does it anymore anyway. But there's your grease banks there. It goes up to that. I, you know, it's a hydraulic kicker. We'll see how well it is. I don't know about that spring. It's just, we'll see. We'll skip the net wrap department for right now. We'll come to this side. You know, pretty much the same thing. It's super spacious, easy to clean out. That's what leaf blower's for. You got this one here. That's easy to take off panel. This small chain, you know, it, take this off here. This is your actual cam guide unit here. So you pull these two bolts, and that's where you get to your cam bearings for easy, easy replacement. Uh, I really like that. On the deer, it's not that way, and I, it's a nightmare replacing those roll, those rollers. It's just, so I'm... I'm excited about that. We'll see how uh, well that lasts. All is pretty much the exact same pickup header as the big square baler. Um, yeah, it's got the old brown style teeth on it. I I do like John Deere square teeth. I think they seem pretty beefy, but these ones are these ones are all right too. Um. And I liked on the, the mega wides on the deers, they had a, a big tooth over here. Um, because if you're, you know, you're turning, you'll get hay that's coming in. And it'll break these off really quickly. I'm trying to pull that hay in from the side. Uh, this one's a lot wider pickup. I think it's a pretty much exact same pickup as a big square baler. As far as parts on them. Bands, everything like that. Set your wind guard with these chains here. Computer. I don't know how great I feel about that, but we will see. Here's another ease of access bank. But yeah. So, got the big flotation tires. I will never buy another round baler without them. It's, it's, they're kind of hard to get now without them. Now these ones have a Torflex axle, so these actually have a little bit of suspension to them. We'll see what they feel like in the field. Smaller kicker arm than on the John Deere, but a lot beefier setup. A lot beefier tube. I've actually bent one of my John Deere's. And I'm not... Not doing this to this. Not doing this to badmouth John Deere because I own two of their balers. I almost bought another one, but I have a lot better support through my Agco dealer than I do with John Deere. Like it's there's just no comparison. It's. Uh, my John Deere dealer is pretty good, but not when it comes to hay equipment. It's there's just no no real serviceability there. That this one has like a practice roll, and you just I think it's supposed to be a lot easier to feed this. I'm not. I looked all this over. These things actually for cleaning this out, I really kind of like this. There's one of these, so you can actually get through here and, and clean this thing out, blow it all out. But, yeah, so we'll see how all this works. You guys can look at my, my hand. They send you a, a practice roll. Oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot that. That holds it against it real tight. Uh, from what I gather, you're supposed to just, you just take this net and you just shove it down 
in there and that's all you do it's not like pulling the brake off on the John Deere net rep system and all that fun stuff but you know storage roll here that's kind of really oh man things got some heft to it it's you know electric actuated just like the John Deere's are so there's not a whole lot of difference in the machines. You know, there's there's sudden you know subtleties here and there as far as belt tensioning goes, but I mean a round baler is pretty much a round baler. Unless it's a new Holland and you know, people like Ted buy those and we just don't want to talk about Ted. I was joking around a little bit, but uh, it's red, so who knows? Get in here and kind of get around here. I hope the machine is a good machine. You know, it. I will. So I bought this machine, and I will. I'll, I was pretty sure I was going to buy this machine, but I was looking at a John Deere, too. Had a 2015 John Deere. It was brand new. They just, they couldn't, they didn't get it sold. And they wanted, you know, it was twine and net wrap. And I don't care about the twine. This was twine and net wrap too, but they, I had to pull all the twine out of it. I didn't even want it on the baler. So, the deer was 45,000 before delivery. 44 8 or something like that uh, Then they used to charge about a thousand to deliver because they're a ways away Probably 800 maybe somewhere there. So It would have been let's just say it would have been 45 5 They had an amazing interest rate. I almost bought it. That was I mean I was this close 1.9% interest five years and deer would have financed and I can't remember if it was 20 or 10% down. It, it was something like that. This machine was 44000 delivered to my door. Uh, they list for 47 but I've been buying quite a bit of expensive equipment. And I just, I'm buying more and more equipment and just kind of building this. I've dealt with this dealer before i bought three wind rowers from them uh you know round baler small square baler accumulator all kinds of hay rakes bought a lot of stuff through them so it was 44 at my door and adco was running a deal at the time of six years six years and 3.9 3.99 percent so four percent interest it was twice what deer was but they went out six years, and I think it was 20% down. Uh, so it was like $8,800 or something like that. <clears throat> I I called the guy at Deer, and I called the guy at Agco, and I was like, all right, send me send me the, the payout, the quote, everything, so I can look at what the final paperwork is going to be. There's no surprises. So send me an invoice of exactly what it's going to be, exactly what, you know, the payments are, and we'll get back to you. Uh, the guy from Agco sent it to me that day. The guy from Deer never, and I talked to the guy from, from Deer like twice, um, or at least, because I was, yeah, I've, I've done business. I bought two round balers from him, so, I mean, I've done business with the guy. I called him up, talked to him about it twice. I said, send it to me. He never got back with me. Uh, the guy from Agco sent it to me. And I really wanted to try the Heston Baylor. I've had one before. Uh, for one reason, it's auto cycle. And so if I have, and it kind of for like an employee... So it's real simple. You just go, and when it beeps, you stop the tractor, and it dumps the bale, and you go. 
Uh, because fatigue is a thing and you will get tired and I have dropped quite a few bales that have never been tied. Because it'll beep at you and you just hit that lever because, you know, on the deers it'll beep for you to stop. And then it'll beep at you again to drop the bale. And that first beep, you just drop the bale and it, you know, it's, it's a mess. So I wanted to try it and see what it was going to be like and really just kind of if i if i like the machine because if i don't like the machine then i am gonna go back to john deere without a doubt uh i like my john deere balers they're fantastic machines they're just they're hay eating machines and there's no denying that uh i'm keeping the 569 until at least midsummer. Uh, the 568 is ready for sale. I was supposed to get it pressure washed and buffed, but things came up. I'm going to be cutting hay tomorrow. I'm a month ahead of where I planned on being, and I've got a lot of cattle work that I'm doing. So it's, I'm just going to put it off, and, and when I get it sold, I get it sold. So, you know, and it... The 568's a good machine. It's got like maybe 22, 23,000 bales. And I'm just going to sell it for... I mean, I don't want much for it. I only want like $9,000 for the machine. But... I've got chickens. So... They're growing. I had to come check on them. Uh, the 569... I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep it. Cause if I have a lot of round baling business, uh, you gotta have two round balers. It just, there's no, you know, there's just, you can't get around that. I don't know if I'm gonna have many square bales. So, you know, I may sell the square baler. And that's what, that's what I bought it to do. I bought it to sell it, but if, if I don't have a lot of round baling business and I do have some square baling business, I'll keep the square baler. And I will sell the 569. The 569 just got all new belts. Oh, we just completely went through the entire machine. New chains. Like it's it's a good baler, but I you know I bought it last year, so I still owe a decent amount of money on it, but it's that's probably why I'm gonna try to keep it another year and just pay some of the debt down and just dump it get rid of it and not that there's anything wrong with machine but you know it's I'm starting out got to be in the business where you can trade and go to something else uh, the reason why I went with the new machine is because my payments on a brand new machine are probably less they're from what i did last year they're going to be less for a brand new machine than what i'm paying for twenty thousand bale machines plus repairs so just go with a new machine on for me now that i've gotten to where i am and that just seems to be the sensible thing to do today you know, the end of the week, it may be completely different. And I have completely talked for way too long, so those are my first impressions of the machine. We'll see what I think when it actually gets running. Thanks for watching.